In today's fossil hunting video, you're gonna see a lot of stuff like this. Oh my God, I just found another claw. This, that is a beauty. <laughs> and also this. Oh, no way. They fit perfectly together. So stick around to see what we find. Right here, we have a nice little dinosaur bone sticking out. Looks to be duck-billed dinosaur because those are the most common dinosaurs around here. But let's check this out. Well, there we go. It's a giant hadrosaur bone. We won't take it because it's in a matrix. But if we look along here, we're bound to find something else. But this just shows how incredibly rich this area is. That is all bone. And it continues all the way along here. That's bone right there. And that's bone. So we're gonna keep exploring and we're gonna find something good today because this site never disappoints. So right here is what I'm guessing is a piece of ceratops in. Can kind of tell with that texture there. Won't be keeping that because there's no distinguishable features, but that's definitely ceratopsian. This is interesting. So this is the end of a huge dinosaur limb bone. And if you look right here, you can actually see it sticking out of the hill. So that's pretty cool to see. Well, that's a good start to the day. But right there, I can see the bone layer continues. So let's check it out. What is that? Check this thing out. That is definitely a backbone of something. Oh, that's cool. My guess is that is a crocodile backbone. That's sweet. That's a really good one too. Well, that's a really good first find of the day. So let's keep moving. That right there is a monster bone. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, something died here. That is a huge limb bone. And everywhere you look, it's just bony material all along here. Now this would be a good spot to find ferropod teeth. So let's look a little closer. Oh yeah, even more bone here. It's kind of an interesting shape there. Don't know what that is, probably from a duck-billed dinosaur, but don't know the exact bone. But this is a good sign. We are definitely in a good layer if we're finding bones like that. Well, I've got two really interesting bones to show you. So let's check them out. So right here, this is probably a juvenile limb bone, potentially arm. You can see there's one end of it there, another end's probably somewhere in there. So that's one of the bones I wanted to show you. Now let's check out the other one. And right here we have the end of a raptor toe bone sticking out. So this is a knuckle right here and the rest of it's under the rock. We have to leave this one behind unfortunately, but it's still really, really cool to see. This area is incredibly fossil rich. Check out what I just found. It's extremely weathered, but this is an articulated dinosaur tail. You got one vertebrae here, another one here, 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 and here and he just keep going off into the rock. It's super weathered, so we don't have to report this, but it's really cool to see, and it probably ends right there, honestly. This area right here, I'm gonna pay special attention to. We got the bone layer. There's lots of bone fragments here, so this is a good spot to find teeth. So let's see if we can get lucky. There's lots of bone scraps. And right here, we got a broken hadrosaur tooth. So if you look right there, that is a scrap of a duck-billed dinosaur tooth. We won't be keeping that, but it just shows there's teeth everywhere. I think I see something kind of cool. It's right there. Right there, we got a vertebrae. That is a duck-billed dinosaur vertebrae, and that is the neural canal right here, and here's the neural arch. So this piece attaches right here. That is actually really cool to see. Well, this is a disappointment. Right here we have an exploded crocodile vertebrae. That would have been a really nice one. But at least we've already found one today, so it's not as painful. Oh, right here we got something really cool. This is a theropod toe bone. That's awesome. Oh, oh. 
right there. Is that the other end of it? Oh, that might attach. That's a that's another Fairpaw toe bone. Okay, let's see if they fit. Oh, no way. They fit perfectly together. That is so cool. That's a really good find. Right there, I suspect that's a Fairpaw bone. Yep, looks to be, see that smooth surface? And it's also hollow. And what's funny is, sticks out on this side too. So, we know it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so right here we have two cool fossils back to back. We got a hadrosaur tooth here, and we have another fair pod toe bone right here. Okay, so first the hadrosaur tooth. That's actually a fairly nice one. It's all there. I'll definitely be keeping that. And right there is the theropod toe bone. And, you know, it's not half bad. It's a really stubby one, but those are kind of cool. Sweet. Uh, this has been a really good day and I just found something really, really good. So let's check that out and hint, it's a claw. That right there is a hadrosaur claw and it's all there. That is awesome. This has been such an amazing day. All I had to do was pluck it out of the ground with my fingers and oh my God, that is a beauty. <laughs> that is awesome. That is the best find of the day so far. As you can probably tell, I'm having a really good day. That is awesome. Oh my God, I just found another claw. This is amazing. It's a beautiful one. Let's go check it out. Check out that beauty. Oh my God. It's perfect. This is amazing. Two claws in the span of five minutes. It's time to stop stalling. Let's pick this thing up. Oh my God. Oh, oh, that is a pristine claw. That's amazing. Well, I honestly don't know how this day can get any better, but we have a lot more exploring to do so it could get really, really good. Also, I'm curious, which claw do you prefer? Comment down below. Do you prefer the hadrosaur claw or the ornithomimid one? For me, it's the ornithomimid claw. It's my favorite, but I want to know what you think. Just walking along here, and there we go. That is a Champsosaur vertebra. And those are really common, but I still like them. Cool. Okay, so right here, we got a pretty cool fossil. This is a segment of a hadrosaur jaw, and these little grooves here where the teeth would go. So that's kind of a cool find. It's too small to keep, but it's cool to see. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is I'm looking at all this fine debris here and I'm just looking for tiny little teeth, like mammal teeth, dinosaur teeth, stuff like that. So let's see what we can find in here. Here's something pretty cool. Right there, we've got a ankylosaur tooth. You can see the serrations on it right there. It's a cute little tooth. You can clearly see a bit of a band right here. And right here, we got something kind of fancy looking. Let's take a look. Interesting. That's a weird backbone. Looks crocodilian. That's cool. I think I just made another really good find. It's right there in that hill behind me. So let's see what it is. Right there. That is a duck-billed dinosaur tooth, and it looks to be, that is a really good one. Huh, that is super nice. Look at that enamel. Gorgeous tooth. Just a quick reminder that if you are enjoying this video to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more content like this. Now back to fossil hunting. Well, I've just arrived at a new stretch of Badlands for us to explore, and right there, we got our first find. You can just see, sitting on this little rock right here, a really beaten up hadrosaur backbone, but there's even more bone around here. I mean, just look at all of this. This is all dinosaur bone in here. Look at the size of that piece right there. So, let's get to searching. 
Check out this cute little hadrosaur tooth right here. Just sitting there. It's a cute one. Right there, we have a cute little theropod toe bone. Does it have the other side? Oh. Well, it's still kind of cool. I'll keep it. Hey! There's a raptor tooth right here. Yes, that's awesome. It's a little difficult to spot, but right there. That's a dromaeosaur tooth, which is a kind of raptor. Oh, that's a nice one too. Oh, there it is. Sweet. Oh, right here. We got ourselves a hadrosaur backbone. I was walking over to show you that hadrosaur backbone. Oh, that's heartbreaking. The tip's gone. That tooth is extremely busted, but that would have been a beauty. I mean, we've been having an extremely lucky day. So unfortunately, I think it was about time for that luck to turn. Oh well. I was surprised I didn't notice this. Right next to the broken tooth, got a big Champsosaur vertebrae. Doesn't even nearly make up for that tooth, but I'll take it. Well, here's something kind of interesting. This right here is a theropod toe bone. But it's one from the dew claw. So that little tiny like toe in the back of a dinosaur's foot. That's what this belongs to. I'm pretty sure. I don't have one of these, so that's pretty cool. Well, I was about to film my outro, but I found another fossil. So I guess that's gonna be the last find of the day. Let's check it out. Right there, we got a hadrosaur toe bone and a very nice one at that. That's a really good way to end off an amazing day. I'm happy with that. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you wanna see a video where we find some sweet trilobites at a public location, check right here. And until next time, see ya.